Thanks for stopping by. I'm Chef Billy Parisi and you're watching FixMyRecipe.com. Our new fix goes to Kristen of Chicago, Illinois. Submitted a recipe to us for hummus. Wants to know if we can step up the flavor. Kristen, let me tell you something. It's not raw garlic and chickpeas either. Pay close attention. We're going to fix you right up. Kristen, one of the biggest things is you're using raw garlic. Roasted garlic is going to make this hummus so much better. The easiest way I know how to make roasted garlic is in a small pot with extra virgin olive oil. Add in our garlic. Cook it on low heat till they're perfectly golden brown. And once they are, we're simply going to strain it. Put that garlic to the side and be sure to save that olive oil. Kristen, this is a really simple recipe. So in a blender, let's go ahead and add in our chickpeas, roasted garlic, Tahini, you are lacking tahini. Honestly, it smells like dirt, but it's a huge vital ingredient in this. Squeeze of lemon juice, a little bit of cumin and cayenne, and salt and pepper for flavor. And next, we're gonna drizzle in that roasted garlic olive oil. Kristen, real easy to make hummus. You saw how simple that was. Throw everything in a blender and you're done. But we're not gonna stop there. We gotta serve flatbread with this. So on 350 degrees, we're simply gonna throw this bread right on there. It takes about two to four minutes, just wanna heat it up. We're gonna plate up our hummus and you know I'm gonna try to eat at least half of it. Mm, my lord. Kristen, that was so easy and it is so good. You saw how easy that came together. Use roasted garlic, use tahini. You are gonna love the flavor that this brand new hummus brings. Once again, thank you so much for writing in, Kristen. We really appreciate it and I just absolutely love hummus. Cannot wait to get started on this. Come back tomorrow, see our new featured fix of the day.